Hello, beautiful people. Thank you for joining me here with a reading into your um, current romantic interest. And to get some guidance, this is hopefully going to be a fairly deep, um, a deep reading. This is the kind of reading I do in my personal, um, personal readings. So you can get a sense of that in case you're interested in booking one of those. Details are below. And we're going to look into the past, the present, emotional aspects, practical aspects, what's going on with them, what the kind of influences are on the situation, how the relationship is most likely to develop at this point, and some advice for you, action to take, attitudes to adopt, and uh, yeah, the likely outcome. Okay. That's the spread. Uh, I can't remember where I got the spread. I think it was, um, I think I was searching for relationship spreads. It may have been on Pinterest. I can't remember who it was by, but it's a great spread. So let's begin. Pile number one, we have the Wildwood Tarot. Pile number two is the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. Thank you, Ishka, for donating these. And pile number three is the Akashic tarot and I'm also using the um, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle deck which was another gift from John. I hope I got his name right. I think it's John. Okay. Um, all right. Thanks guys. Um, so pick your pile one, two or three and we will begin. Right, number one, we've got the Four of Arrows, Rest, and the King of Bows, Adder, the Five of Vessels, Ecstasy, and the Seer, number two. We've got the Ace of Stones, the Foundation of Life, in reverse. And the Five of Bows, Empowerment in Reverse. Then we have the Queen of Arrows, the Swan. The Four of Stones, Protection, Reverse. And the Green Woman. And the Page of Stones, hello Lynx, in reverse. Good old fine smelling Lynx, which is a body spray in the UK that teenage men, generally teenage men, like to use. What's it called? I think it's um, uh, Axe. Is it Axe in the, in, the, in the US? This is like from a previous discussion. Seven of Bows, Clearance. And 14, balance in reverse. Okay. Bottom of 
bottom of the deck we have the Knight of Stones horse in reverse. Hmm. Okay. So there's been there's been a break. This is a situation relationship where there's been some kind of separation, some kind of time apart, and it's been very needed. It's been a, essential, really, because you guys have been exhausted. You guys have been um, needing to really take care of yourself, nurture yourself, look after yourself. And this is um, a natural part of the process that you're going through um, because you, you've needed to, to um, shed layers, to shed skins and shed parts of yourself. And like the only way to do that was really to sink into this deep um, sense of yourselves and really um, taking this time to nourish and care for yourselves. It's like you really needed this, this space and this, um, um, this time out. You know, you, you may be on this healing journey and it's, it's been like really intense and you know you're awakening, you know you're becoming, you know you're in the process of, of enlightenment and continual process of expansion. <clears throat> but you needed some time off, you needed some um, space away from it because uh, I feel like it's been quite painful, there's been a lot of um, uh, wounding it's, and what, you know, what it is, it's not that this process necessarily created wounding but it revealed wounding, it revealed the the pain or the trauma of your um can be your your family history how you grew up your younger years and also the karma that you bring through from other lives that needs to be worked through and that you you came with in order to process and and shift and and change so there's this is where you're coming from where are we now we've got the king of bows i mean this is um this is a card of movement and action um, I, I get quite mixed feelings with this particular card when it comes up because the king of bows is the king of wands and generally I really like this energy because it's very stable and um, uh, a kind of the king of wands is, is a very grounded but active person who's quite adventurous, bold and, and forward moving but actually the depiction here and the energy I get from this card is actually confusion um, and kind of tying yourself up in knots and there's these three snakes here who are all interwound and twisted around one another and, and this other one kind of appearing at the top and I find it quite um, a confusing energy as, as a card and it's like this one snake has perspective this one on the outside can look down and have a, an insight into what's going on yeah, so I feel like this is what this is about. It's about gaining this perspective on, on the kind of um, uh, emotional entanglements. And especially trying to separate from codependency and separate from being reliant on others, or reliant on someone else, and to retrieve yourself from this, um, this process. And to have this this insight and I feel there's a sense of wanting things to move and wanting things to um, like wanting this king of king of one's energy there's some um, this bold <clears throat> bold action bold movement um, but it, it feels like there's still some perspective that's needed on the kind of intricacies of, of the um, intertwining of, of different um, energies, emotions, or, or feelings, or people, and, and trying to distinguish um, one from the other because it's very confusing. Like you, there are snakes that are different colors, but they they kind of all blend into one, and it's hard to really figure out where one begins and one ends. So there's this need to retract still and um, and have this space from this um, this confusion in in order to get this sense of direction and movement. I think this, you know, this time of rest is really giving you this 
insight and this perspective now where you're able to do that, where you're able to separate yourself from, from other. Um, in terms of the emotional aspect, so there's a lot of joy, I feel. Um, there is this sense of... Um, ecstasy. I mean, it's, it's like this kind of lost in the feeling sense. I, I feel there's a lot of emotion here and it's almost like easy to get lost in it, easy to get carried away in the emotion. And there's something about ecstasy. Again, this depiction with this particular deck, Five of Cups, is... Um, it's normally about like grieving and uh, and endings and and um, letting go, but this kind of ecstasy it almost feels like um, I'm feeling like almost like a denial or um, this this ecstasy can be a kind of loss, like a disconnection from self, and not really like being ungrounded somehow yeah because we have with the with the practical aspect and we've got the seer and this is not a not a practical card this is a very mental energetic um energy and can be to do with um yeah, being in the in the non physical realm, really, it, it's really receiving message from spirit and from the earth, and connecting with um, listening to the rhythms of life and and the rhythm of of um, the cycle and the movement of of the world, and and listening to this um, to gain insight. I'm going to get a clarifier for this ecstasy card because, um, yeah, it's um, it gives me mixed messages. Let's clarify. Five of vessels, please. Can you clarify the five of vessels? <laughs> Here we go, King of Wands. Okay, yeah, so this is this desire to move forward and to, um, so what I'm feeling, <coughs> excuse me, is to, is to overcome this past, this grief. It's like wanting to move on from this sense of mourning or sadness or loss and come into this state of being excited and happy and wanting to celebrate. And wanting to, um, yeah, just shed, shed the old, and and really, um, there's there's a sense of excitement with this connection, a sense of um, a desire to, yeah, be free within it, and and this passion. There's a lot of passion here, and sexual energy. So emotionally, it's a very passionate sexual connection. And mm, with the practical the practicalities are, is there is this listening that's still going on, this understanding, this interpretation of um, understanding as part of a greater, a greater whole, a greater picture. And mm, just really gaining that insight. Clarifying the seer here. Yeah. Do you want to be clarified? Okay. Yeah. Two of cups. So you and potentially the other person, we'll get more into them in a minute, but you may be wondering how how to connect, how to meet, how to re re-embrace one another after this distance is separation is like thinking how do we how do we see eye to eye? To eye? How do we um, have this exchange, uh, this harmonious and um, um, open exchange where you're able to 
really share deeply and meet on a deep level um, and on a, a fair, open, balanced level. And so I feel like you or both of you are, are listening for that and waiting for that, like kind of just tuning in to what, um, what you're receiving, what you're understanding. So the other person, we've got the Ace of Stones in reverse. I feel like, um, I feel like they really are, they want this new, um, new beginning, but they feel like it's stuck or it's blocked or it's, um, it's not happening. They, they feel like, um, maybe they felt like there was a potential or they thought that, um, there is this place of like a seed, a, a kind of place to um, build from, but it feels like it's blocked to them. They feel mm, that it's not, it's not happening. Let's see. Uh, maybe either they've chosen, they may have chosen not to move forward. Or they feel like you've chosen not to move forward. One of you has made a choice. Someone's someone's made a, made a decision or is trying to make a decision. And they're trying to let go of anxiety and worry around that decision. But it feels like there's been a kind of um, block to the beginning or block to um, a, a reconnection. And that's because of someone's decision and a need to to shed worries by coming into the truth. It's like this again coming into this truth that's needed in the situation. Externally, we've got the five of bows in reverse, and um, yeah, I feel like there's this um, this air of putting down the weapons, putting down the uh, the need to fight or to battle. So this could be the other person, like they've, they've kind of um, let go of fighting for this connection, or they've let go of, of um, uh, conf there's a let go of conflict, a let go of, of battle, whether that's, um, that can be on different levels and maybe different for different people, but this can be an external situation that was creating conflict around this connection or within this connection or internally as well. There's, you know, this can work on lots of different levels. Let's see if there's any more clarity. Mm. Yeah, this is just walking away, walking away from things that um, weren't really fully satisfying, you know, that may felt have felt good, but this realization that there is more, there is more that is needed or more that is wanted or more that is desired. Because there is this kind of, um, yeah, this kind of messy um, emotional um, tangle that, that's being processed right now. And I, I feel like someone, likely this other person, it could be either of you, has, has walked away in order to really discern what's going to make them fully happy and what they really need in order to be happy. Yeah, so it's like um, this kind of stagnation, there's, there's like a stillness or a, a kind of... Um, A, a kind of uh, pause, a stop. This is the same as the overall energy, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, th and this is coming in as an external influence. So there's something, either there's something external that is creating this stop on this connection, or or one of you, or the both of you, there's, there's like, um, there's something going on outside that is making this connection um, 
be on hold. Be on hold. Uh, let's see. How the relationship is most likely to develop. Queen of Arrows. It's the Swan. This is um, truth. It's quite cool. You know, this energy is quite cool. Um, it's about clarity and insight and truth and um, being very discerning, being able to receive a, a very um, poignant insight. I feel this could represent someone. The Queen of Arrows is an air sign, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be a female. Um, the swan could be significant in identifying this person, but someone may be leaving this situation. Someone may be um, exiting, and uh, it's clarified by the, the Ten of Wands in reverse. It's like this something is too much for this person, whether this represents you or the other, or an external, a third party, or, or someone else in the dynamic, in the family. There is, um, it's like it's too much for this person. This person is, is overwhelmed, overburdened, and wanting to take some space. But you see they're still looking back. And, and there's this, um, again, mixed messages, moving away but still looking back. Mixed messages isn't the right way. There's a kind of hesitation, I feel. It's like, it's almost like they have no choice but to to remove themselves and because they want to go into somewhere that's more calm and more peaceful and this kind of stillness and away from this um, turbulence because it it's like the um, over, it's something about overbearing something is kind of um, just too much just too much four of stones protection in reverse Yeah, um, what I'm feeling with this is that is this um, a lack of safety in this um, connection at the moment. Like it doesn't feel secure. One of you, you or the other person, or the connection itself may be very fragile, very delicate, like a newborn, like a baby. Something that's very, very pure and very, um, very delicate, and it. It needs looking after and needs nurturing and there isn't that. It doesn't feel that. There isn't that sense of protection. And the green woman, this is the, um, the seer again. Essentially, well, it's not the seer. She's more active. This woman is more maternal, but it's a similar nurturing connection to the earth. And it feels like there needs... Um, or there will be some kind of um, like a mother figure or caring figure or loving, um, embracing um, presence that that has this yeah this this nourishment I feel like this is like milk in this cauldron because it's it's white it's like this um um the, the milk of the earth you know this um pure um pure pure essence of of earth energy of of maternal earth energy so I mean and how this is likely to develop mm. Clarify it for these two as well. And there's potentially there's two there's two people represented here, two two women possibly. Mm, yeah, this rebirth. Um And I feel like there's um, this, this someone, this person, this Queen of Arrows character is moving away. And the green woman, so this is like the Empress. Um, and there's this maternal, um, nurturing, loving either person or just general energy. Queen of 
this, I mean, this is, um, it, it's like with this sense of rebirth, it's like there needs to be this mother, it's like this mother that needs to, um, Ace of Pentacles reversed, and this is the other, per okay, so this is the other person, because that's the same, um, the same person. The other ace of ace of stones reversed, ace of pentacles reversed. It's the same. So this represents the other person in this relationship. So this person wants to step into. Oh, I've just seen. I've got the devil here. Um, this person wants to step into this nurturing, loving role, allowing them to. And I feel to receive. receive but also um yeah really give, like give also give to this situation i feel like the other person they so they can be male or female but this the person really wants to love and nurture and give to this connection they really want to um um support it and i think because because there's this feeling of it being quite vulnerable Let's see what the um, action for you to take is with this reverse links. Yeah, so it's not to take any action right now. Um, it's to focus on your own healing. So um, not to move towards them or, or do anything. It's just to focus on yourself, look after yourself. And the attitude to adopt, we've got the seven of bows, clearance, justice, and the two of swords. Yeah, there's something you need to clear out. There's something you need to um, get rid of. It's like chopping away the dead wood. So this can be um, like aspects of yourself, your ideas, your emotion, your, but it's, it's to do with the past. It's to do with um, getting things back into balance, uh, letting go of things that were not fair not even and making some really deep choices from inside about um yeah or reflecting on there's definitely this thing to do with um making making decisions or being aware of what your options are yeah so you first of all you need to be aware what, what are your choices? What are your options? And you need to then make those decisions, make those um, choices from, uh, and not from your mind, not from your head, but to open your heart. You need to unblock your heart, open your, um, open your chest space and, um, and release, release your, your mental battles, release any um, confusion or, or like, discourse in your mind and this is allowing for um I feel you know with justice in reverse it feels like somehow there's um you know sometimes we're always trying to make things fair and we're always trying to make things really uh even and make sure that um you know ev everyone um like, or everything in your life gets the same amount of attention so for example i've got you know um i spend um two hours with this son and two hours with this daughter and two hours with my husband or um two hours at work or you know try and give allocate the same amount of energy or time to everything and i feel like there's a need to let go of always trying to be so um fair like I feel like this is kind of um can create some kind of a, like a coldness almost it's like letting go of, of this position of of being um just you know this this right this almost feels like letting go of righteousness letting go of um uh 
this need to be yeah be so precise and um and dealing out the 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 time or the energy or the money or whatever it is it's like there's a need to let go of of being so of being in control somehow and be aware of the um becoming more aware of making these decisions from your heart space and from your intuition and from your um from your emotion really connecting with your emotion your intuition and letting go of this yeah letting go of controlling and then making and then clearing things out so this is then decisions you make what to clear out what to get rid of to in order to fuel the fire and the passion because there's a need to burn a need to create this or reignite some maybe some fire within you to re-embrace this fire and this passion. Mm. Um, and the outcome, we've got a uh, balance in reverse. I feel like this is um, pointing towards, again, towards this things not needing to be so equal and maybe being prepared to really, really, really give or really, really receive. So this this is going to vary and you're probably going to have a instinct yourself we'll see maybe a clarify will um give us more insight <laughs> yeah okay ask yourself right ask yourself do i need to really give to this situation do i re need to like properly open up and just devote myself and express myself and um put my energy my love my passion my desire into this connection or do I need to really allow myself to receive? I really need to step back, nurture myself, allow myself to really fully be embraced by someone else, be fully seen, be fully um, honoured in in my worth and in my in my beauty or in my handsomeness, you know. Um, so check. You're going to know really whether if you've been overgiving to the situation or undergiving, and you need to flip that. Okay. Um, I'm going to get one more card of advice for you. Wow, this is, guys, you just got a, like a free 30 minute reading. If you want to donate to my channel, please do. <laughs> you know, even if it's like a, you know, a fiver or something, um, you're very welcome to donate. Um, otherwise, just enjoy. Receive. Maybe you need to fully receive. Maybe you need to donate. It's up to you. You feel. Okay. The Desert Prince, Survival, False Promises. Uh, um, with me, this is this survival. It's like being able to survive in this desert. It's being able to go through this, um, this process. It's like, it's not a, um, this relationship, this connection is not a, um, uh, what's the word? I want to say like overnight success or one hit wonder it, it's like a it it's a it's a journey it's a um it's a uh, let me think of the right word it's an experience of of growth and it's experience of becoming and you're probably fully aware of this but it's just a reminder that even when it feels like you're in a complete drought, like there is nothing, there is no water, there's no nourishment, there's no emotion, when you feel like it's um, barren, to remember there is always the way um, out. So there's always going, you're going to find the oasis, you're going to find the edge of the desert, there's a way to to move beyond it and it's to remind you I get this sense of, of just kind of being a warrior in this situation or warrior s and about just fighting for something and um and having your um and also that there are times where it's going to feel like there's, there's barely enough to survive but there's also the there is a richness that's available 
I want to just check this card. This is a fairly new deck, and I just want to check because there's some. I know there's something in this meaning that I can't remember. Yeah, so it's tough. You know, the desert, the desert plants. What is in the desert is really tough. So it's encouraging you to be to be tough and and survive. And ultimately, you this you get so much strength that you're going to thrive. It says, expect nothing less than what is in your most precious dreams and watch miracles manifest. Okay, so really trust, have trust in this situation and um, yeah, keep keep fighting. Okay, oh, thanks, group number one. I hope you enjoyed that. Do give me a, a like or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, you can book a personal reading with me below or um, say hi and let me know how the reading resonated for you and I look forward to speaking to you again another time. Brand new deck, group number two. Brand new deck. I have used it a little bit. I don't fully know it yet, but um, uh, it is pretty much the pretty much based on the original tarot. But there will likely be some intuitive reading going on here. Slippy, oh my gosh, these cards. <laughs> it's super, super slippy. Okay, let me go like this. Do you know, I want to do this because it is so new. I just want to get some more fresh energy in here. I can't wait to read for this deck. It's so, it's so beautiful and very cosmic. It's called Dreams of Gaia. And okay, I think we're ready. Yeah, cards are ready. Okay, group number two. If you just joined, this is a brand new deck. So, um. Yeah, some of these cards I may have never seen before. Let's see what comes out. I'm really excited. It might take me a minute to, uh, to process them. What have we got? Number one, four of pentacles, four of earth. Number two, the two of earth. The child. And... The Queen of Earth in reverse. Lots of pentacles. Lots of Earth energy. Right. Then we have number six. Oh, sorry, 11. Healing. Mm. And the Nine of Pentacles. More Earth. We have... <laughs> Eight of Pentacles. The Queen of Fire in reverse. And the Queen of Water in reverse. Right. Got three queens. 
all in reverse. Interesting. We have the Ten of Air in reverse. One of Cups, Ace of Cups in reverse, Ace of Water. And Eleven of Fire. Hmm. Bottom of the deck. Twenty-one, Perception. Yes, the cards are amazing. Perception. Mm. Okay, guys, there is something about the truth that needs to be perceived. Something, someone's wearing a mask, someone is hiding something. Could be you, could be someone else, but there is a need to see beyond what you think you're seeing, or they need to see beyond what they think they're seeing, but somewhere there is a... Um, a need to really step back with some clarity and some um, really just pay attention. Really important to pay attention to what is going on in this situation, this dynamic, and to look at it from almost like a, um, I almost want to say detach from yourself detaching from yourself in order to view this, this dynamic, this connection. We've got in the past, because this, I feel this connection was, um, is codependent, was codependent. You may have an insight. This may be a new insight for you, a different way of seeing it. Maybe you haven't seen this before, which is why the perception card has come up. So, um, just feel into what feels resonant with you and let go of anything that doesn't. Um, and if, I, as I described the past, it feels really this wasn't the situation, then choose a different pile or a different reading. Um, but what I'm feeling for the past is, is this was a codependent relationship, something that was um, <sighs> held onto for either for too long or for the wrong reasons, or for both, um, but it was something that, um, it, almost like this kind of endurance, I feel like you've endured some real pain uh, through maintaining this connection, and I'm not saying that was um, the wrong thing to do at all, that is not what I'm saying, but that there are some lessons to be learnt and maybe it's time now for you to look back and see that this perhaps wasn't um, a healthier, as a dynamic as maybe you felt it was, or to really look at why you were holding on. Why, why did you stay in this connection? Why did you want, or why did you want this connection? Or why were you so attached to this person? Because there is a sense that it was actually damaging. And it may be that, you know, you, you needed to experience this connection in order to realize that or understand something about yourself. And now, um, maybe the time in order to really be aware of that and reflect on that. I want to get a clarifier for this as well. Let's clarify the four of earth, please. Mm, healing. So you, you've likely been doing some healing on this connection. Or it, it's like right now you really need to take some time to um, either to, to heal from it or that having a, a different understanding of what this is about will, will help you heal, will help you um, let go. Or fully let go. I've got two fours, which is about stability and structure, and um, yeah, it could have been this like mental holding on rather than physical. So it may be even you detach from this person physically, um, but there was still some kind of bind 
which could have been mental, like a thought process or an idea that um, you're meant to be together or you're meant to um, experience this experience, that it's almost even like, you know, I deserve to experience this pain. I deserve to have gone to go through this. This is this is what I am, um, or this is what relationships are like, or this is how they develop, or um, or not seeing. It could even be. It could be any of these different things. Um, it could also have been that it will get better. I just stick it out. I just stay with it. I just keep going, and things will get better. But. Um, I feel either you realized or they realized or you both realized that you were actually bleeding. It, it was causing too much damage and um, you maybe weren't aware of it for quite a long time. Okay, let's see where we are now. Two of Earth. And uh, it's interesting because it's it's a two, but actually she's juggling four things. This is about, yeah, options and choices and decisions in a practical sense. So you right now are quite likely making a decision or trying to make a decision or confused about a, a decision regarding this connection or this person. And you're trying to understand um, how to make this choice. You, you could have things, very practical, practical ideas on your mind, such as finance, like money, in terms of this dynamic, whether this is negatively or positively affected, you're kind of balancing or weighing these things up. It can be practicalities like home. Um, let me just shut this window, I can hear traffic outside yeah it could be um like home like what like um this could be a decision about do i you may be wondering do i really want to move in with this person or do i want to take it to another level or or do i need to move away from this person or you know physically and and separate um like a leave this can be a connection where you want to maybe even leave um, a house or leave uh, or, or take this connection to another um, move, like moving a family to another country but some kind of but some kind of practical decision so the clarifier mm, okay and <laughs> Knight of Cups the Romeo card do you want to make an offer to this person? Do you, do you, or you have different people who you're interested in, different romantic options, and you're wondering whether this person is um, who you want or not. And you are, you may be in this connection or have been in this connection for a long time and you're wondering about taking your, up to someone else or elsewhere because there's a sense I get this sense of travel again this sense of movement um, yeah um, going th like through new doorways new gateways and, and movement and travel okay let's carry on the emotional aspect we've got the child so there could be something quite naive or young about this connection. There could be, on one hand, it can be you know very playful and light and fun, and it might be um, quite attractive in that way because there is something that is very innocent and joyful. But at the same time, in terms of emotion for an adult relationship. Um, Well, I mean, this could it could be blossoming. You know, it could also be emotions blossoming, or new emotion coming in, or new new insight coming in. But it is young, and it could potentially be 
a little bit naive or um, a bit blinded, um, very, very trusting, even overly trusting, because a child is, children are actually dependent, really, on, you know, on a grown-up, they, they can't survive in the world on their own, so there can again be this sense of dependency, emotional dependency, within this connection something for you guys to to really reflect on because um if you're not sure what i mean by um codependency or emotional dependency it's really about um not being able to separate yourself from another person in a healthy way in that you are reliant on them potentially reliant on their attention on their um affirmation validation they that somehow being with them makes you feel like um, you are um, maybe worthy or important or that you are valuable. Um, and really what we want to be is to be able to know that and discern that on our own. So it's really important to be able to be, it's interdependent where um, of course we do need other people and um, receiving validation is not a bad thing, but it's when you're reliant on it that you can't survive without attention, especially from a specific person. So you can feel like, okay, if I didn't receive validation from this person, or what if this person actually didn't like what I'm doing, or didn't, for example, if this person didn't like my job, um, would I still do that job, or would I change my job to, to please that person? Because this comes from a need to pleasing our parents when we're younger, in, in this particular example. So um, where, you know, I'll, I'll become a, I don't know, my dad always wanted me to like marry an airline pilot. So <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to marry an airline pilot. Well, maybe I will marry an airline pilot, but, you know, I, don't take that seriously. I think he was kind of joking. But there's this kind of, you know, you can try and meet the expectations of your parents um, or just pleasing them, you know, by getting good grades at school or um, having the right kind of friends or um, doing the right hobbies that they like. You know, there's this, this need to please someone else so that you are feel loved. And, and that's where codependency comes from, is that we need to, either we need to fulfill others' expectations or... Um, they need to fulfill ours in order to be loved. And if you don't meet those, you can't be loved. So, um, yeah, th there is, I think, an uh, awareness needed in the kind of emotional area of being able to separate from this person. Like, how can you survive? Or can you survive without that person emotionally? And to actually maybe go into a visualization, a meditation or a journey where you experience being completely without that person in your life, not even receiving negative attention because actually them, say, for example, hating your job is actually still attention because it's still putting energy, even though it's negative energy, it's still receiving attention, right? Even if it's negative attention. How about if they just completely ignored you? How about if they just just um, um, just weren't even present, weren't even there? And to go into a, a meditation experience, what it would be like without that person emotionally present in your life um, and just feel into that. And I think it will help you get a sense of um, what's going on, on on a deeper level with this with this person. OK, this is going into very long readings. Um, right. Um, this is what I do for personal readings, by the way. So if you like this and you want a personal reading, you can book that with me. Um, practical aspects, Queen of Earth. Mm, guys, I don't feel this is a healthy relationship. This is, an, this is being overly dependent in, in the material world. Overly dependent on money, on sex, on um, having things, doing things, the appearance of things. It's like, um, uh, and also uh, this for me can be um, 
like an energy drain as well, you know, where you just like need more and more and more. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I don't like the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Earth in reverse, like it's very stuck, it's very heavy, very, very weighted in the physical world and not enough flexibility um, to shift and change. So I feel like there is something in this connection which is very stuck and heavy. Um, and saying, you know, I'm saying all these things, guys, it doesn't mean that this can't change with this connection. It doesn't mean that um, um, there's no possibility. I mean, we'll go more in, in the future to see what's going on. But um, this is just how it is at the moment. OK, this is what it's like right now. I'm wary of giving you any um, <laughs> kind of support in staying this connection because I don't, I'm not getting the sense it's a really good place for you right now. And um, yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see, okay? Um, let's see what happens. There's, there's the potential for, there's always the potential for change and growth. So yeah with the emotions the hermit there's a need to really go inside and reflect this is like finding the truth going inside and finding the truth of the emotional nature of this connection very important and the queen of earth let's clarify her too mm. self-love um i feel like yeah, this, this ability to feel emotionally satisfied is kind of stunted. It's this need to fill, like, fuel up self-satisfaction from external things. And, you know, this could be things like expensive clothes, but it, it could also just be... Um, uh, having um you know a great lifestyle or having lots of friends or you know it's this kind of showing a need to kind of show externally or, or be externally um val val valid yeah um this person we've got healing this is what's representing them as someone who's going through healing Um, and with the King of Cups, yeah, there is this, they are healing their emotional on an emotional level. And, um, yeah, I feel like a, a purge, like there's, um, I'm just, <laughs> with these frogs, I just keep thinking of Cambo, you know, the frog medicine and this, um, um, yeah, just using these medicines to, or plant medicines to um, purify. I don't know if this person maybe uses um, plant medicine or um, is using some kind of, uh, yeah, something to do some healing. We've got it clarified by the King of, of Cups. This could be them or could be you. King of Cups is um, could represent a water sign, which is Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Um, and this is this could be this could be them seeing how they see you. You know, they see you as someone who is emotionally mature. Maybe they see you as someone who is able to detach or to um who has gained this insight in being able to um remove their, their dependency and they're in a process of healing from that they could also be quite attached to you um and this this desire to um like they see you as I think this person has a really high respect for you. Um, maybe respect's not the right word. 
but they um they no they definitely admire you they admire you and uh, potentially respect you as well yeah um but they are they need to come into this place of emotional maturity and that's that's what they're that's what's going on with them right now is is healing they're in a healing stage now um practical implications nine of pentacles this is the card of being single so it's likely you are um either both single or there's a need for separation or that's what's going on at the moment that you're both separated from one another um and yeah that feels quite healthy uh, and also, this is also about um, receiving gifts. I feel like um, you may also be, that may also be um, quite good um, financial shifts, either independently or um, from your uh, partnership. But it feels like there can be money either money being offered or gifts being offered or received, but but in a kind of independent way. Okay, this is good. I feel like there's this sense of independence which feels really good for this connection. Um, the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this is um, an extension of this energy of, of becoming independent. And this is what really what needs to you know, feels really good to happen for this connection is this sense of coming into independence, um, of being um, rich and, and valid and worthy on your own, both them and you. And so I see that, um, or I feel that it's likely that, that it's going to stay in this kind of separation right now, where um, uh, there's a real focus on nourishing yourselves and creating your own wealth for yourselves we have got the queen of fire and the queen of cups in reverse um so if you know if this is you choosing to maintain this um, separation from this person and stepping away from this person they may react um, they may be pretty pissed off pretty angry annoyed um, or even overly um, overly exert their sexuality or flirtation um, or um, really try to impress you and they may also it may trigger some if, if they are not emotionally independent, then this could trigger them really, essentially trying to trigger you or um, uh, emotionally like pull you back in, drag you back in, make you feel like, um, have that feeling of being needed and wanted and, um, you know, I, I can't live without you and you're everything to me. This, but in this overly... Um, uh, um, like a swampy kind of way you know that that kind of drags you in there could be the sense of pulling you in dragging you in but from a, a, a kind of not even um, they may not even be conscious of it but it could be in a slightly manipulative way and that they're really trying to drag um, and 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 bring you in not you know if these were upright then I would say they're in a very healthy way expressing their passion and their emotion and their love and their desire but both reversed it's like overly emotion too much too much emotion too much fire it's like overwhelming and um there yeah there may be this sense that you really want to pull back These, it may also trigger this in you you may have this real um in separation from this person this real desire for them to, that re-emerges like you you just desperately sexually want them or emotionally like want them and it's like this withdrawal basically it, it's like this kind of withdrawal symptom 
Um, and so it's really important for you at this point, you know, again, to have this perception and observe yourself, really observe what's going on within that dynamic and what the kind of triggers are that are going on within you. Um, okay, your advice, action. This is the Ten of Swords. Um, the Ten of Swords is about turning away. In this particular deck, it's like turning away from something and stepping through a new gateway, stepping into a kind of unknown space. And I do feel like this is really important for you to... Um, Wait, I want to get, let me get clarified before I say anything. Let me just get clarifiers on this. So both reversed. All right, Ten of Swords. Oop. Okay, Ace of Pentacles reversed. And the Ace of Cups reversed. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you need to remove yourself from this person, quite honestly. Um, I feel like you need to um, resist the urge to give to them, resist the urge to gift them, and to quite literally, I feel, turn your back on this person. And I'm sorry if, if this feels like a really hard news for some of you, but I, I really feel it's important for you to turn away from them, and um, not because you hate them or dislike them, but because you need to give to yourself and develop this um, independence for yourself. You, it's almost like you need to fully know how to be single and not need a relationship or not need a person to satisfy you um, because the attitude for you to adopt is to turn love towards yourself. Stop trying to give love to this person. Stop offering love. Um, Ace of Cups is about new love, it's in reverse, okay? No, no more new love, look after yourself. Fill your own cups, fill your own, um, fill your own well, well of love, okay? Just keep giving back to yourself. When you feel like giving to them, do something nourishing for yourself. What can I do for myself that feels really good? When you have that urge, like your desire for them, like what can I do for myself that's going to make me feel really good? Okay, um, and then we have the Six of Wands. I think I said 11 earlier on. Six of Wands. This is saying um, there's a sense of victory. Ah, great. Can you see this guy? So regardless of gender, right? This guy, he's holding this full cup, okay? So I feel like, and here you can see there's been this battle, or there is this battle, and you can see these two people crossing swords. Um, so I feel like you're going to have victory over this situation. You're going to be able to receive that Ace of Cups for yourself. This is, this is the out, like the outcome, right? You receive um, your own personal victory. And I feel like you're sitting away from it. These people want to battle. They want to fight. They want to get involved. And you're kind of sitting back. And just staying in your own, um, in your own space, your own throne, your own sovereignty, your own independence, and holding the cup, holding this, um, holding this love. And I feel like this is—I really feel this strongly. This is you, okay? Stepping back from battles, back from mental conflict, back from um, uh, this kind of um, fight, some kind of fight. And, uh, and receiving love for yourself. Let me get a clarifier for, for that. Yeah, the world, completion, okay? You'll complete this cycle. So this, whatever this lesson has been, whatever this journey, this experience has been, you're going to be able to wrap it up, okay? And, and tie all the bows and whatever it is. And, you know, whatever happens with this person, the important thing is you focusing on you and you coming into your own sovereignty, you completing the cycle, 
you learning the lessons, okay? Just focus on you, all right? I'll get one of these, I'm gonna finish. This is a long reading, guys. Very long reading again. All right, let's see what the advice is for you. Ah, same as the first group. It's another lesson, a journey. You're learning how to be tough, how to be strong, how to be a warrior, warrior S, how to survive in really tough environments and tough circumstances. So you are really nearly there, believe in miracles and they shall happen, okay? All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. You can book a private reading with me below. And, um, yeah, otherwise you can just say hi or, or chat below. Let me know how this resonated and um, if this advice was useful for you, how you're going to implement it or um, uh, if this resonates yeah, with your situation. Okay. Thanks, people. Bye. Okay, guys, let's do this. Um, these readings have got very long. So let's see. Um, let's do this spread for you. Uh, okay, wait, give me, give me a sec. I think I just need to um, clear my energy a little. Okay, group number three, let's see what we have for you. The Eight of Forces, the Lightning Bolt. Intricacies and Industries, Seven of Scrolls in Reverse. The 
five of scrolls, diversity. And the Ark of the Covenant, number 11, in reverse. Two of Roses, the Winged Messengers. And the King of Forces. We've got the Five of Roses, the Garden. Uriel and the Sphinx, 21, reversed. And the Six of Roses. We've got Winter, the Five of Forces. Three of Forces, the Bird's Nest in reverse. And the Outcome, the Chess Game, Three of Keys. Hmm, interesting. Bottom of the deck, we have birth. Okay. Hmm, okay, guys. So, um, this connection, there's been a disruption in this relationship or this connection. Um, and uh, it can have really shaken things up. Um, it could feel like, um, yeah, that there's been, well, there's been this storm, there's been this, um, this crack of, of light that's kind of like come in quite sharply and potentially uprooted something, transformed something. This could have been a, um, I don't feel, I, I feel this is more on an energetic level not on a, a physical level. I, I feel like there's been an energetic disruption or shattering or insight or, um, you know, this struck, struck with lightning, struck by lightning, um, a, a realisation, an awakening. It could be um, between the two of you or it could be just you. Like you've received this kind of, shattering insight or knowledge or or um wisdom about this about this connection let me get some um clarifiers as we go uh, yeah some something mm. so you may have felt like you actually really want to be with this person. Maybe it kind of shocked you that you, you weren't expecting that you, um, or you've realized the realization it can be a realization from the past, a realization about this past connection or a realization about childhood. And, um, maybe if you were been together a long time as some kind of awakening from the past, this is also about this reconnection and about, yeah, I, I feel like there's, for a lot of you, there's a sense of, of wanting to, um, it, it's like hit you that you, you want, you want this person back in your life. You want this relationship back in your life or, um, yeah, this, this is, um, a re, a reunion, not a new meeting, but a re-meeting with someone in the past. You can get a sense from this if this is relevant to you or not, but you want this person back, um, is what I'm feeling. And But the present state is that there's no work being put in. There's no work happening on this connection. No one's putting in any effort. On your part or their part, it's like a... Um, or it's one-sided. Maybe one person is trying to put in the effort. But I feel like there isn't anyone. Mm. Yeah, there's been an ending and it's been unhappy, a really unhappy ending. Um, there may have been some kind of conflict, some kind of, um, like a harsh words, like a bat, like it's like a battle has ended, like a conflict has ended, a um, 
like an exchange or there's been like a or there's been an exchange that's been quite final or felt very final and it's really um it's not been it's felt very unhappy it's felt very sad And um, this can even be something quite, um, with these two cards, um, I can almost feel like there, I want to say the word menace, like there's been a menace, like someone menacing or a, a menacing um, energy that's kind of infiltrated or affected or been part of this dynamic and it's kind of shut things down or something's shut down these two together can it can be um this like suppression of the light suppression of joy like a, a pushing down of this um of vitality and uh yeah th this may have this could have been another influence, or this is what's going on currently. So this could be that there currently is another influence that's pushing it or suppressing it or trying to like squash this down. Or one of you is, or maybe they are trying to like suppress it. Um, let's see. The emotional aspect is the five of scrolls. So this is about trying to figure out your options, looking around and trying to work out what the what the options are. So um, again, this could be on both your parts, like just trying to expand your mind on what is possible. What what are the different ways? You know, if you're already feeling like you want to reconnect with this person, you could be thinking, how do I do that? How do I reconnect with them? Or what are the different um, um, yeah, options available to me in terms of moving forward or is this an option for me do I really want this or but I, I feel quite strongly you do there's this birth I feel like you want this rebirth and you're trying to figure out how to do that um, maybe if they have kind of suppressed it then you're trying to work out well how um, how do I how do I move forward then? You're, you're really trying to expand your mind and ideas. Think of new ideas and new inspiration. Um, I'm going to clarify for that. Yeah, new perspective. You're looking for a new perspective. Either you've got a new perspective, you've suddenly seen a new option, a new way of um, thinking about things. Um... Or, or you're in the process of trying to find that. Um, on a, sorry, that was the emotional, emotional level, does I say practical? That's on an emotional level. On a practical level, it's blocked. Um, there's a practical block. I feel like um, there's a like a journey. The Ark of the Covenant. Do you know? I can't really remember the definition in the book of this, but I feel like it's whatever it is. There's something is blocked. Let me see if I can get the book. Um, the King of Cups. Also, this block. So this could be you or them. It could be one person is kind of stopping, um, stopping this. Let me just check this Ark of the Covenant. Sorry, guys. It's a fairly new deck and um, I can't quite remember. Let's see in reverse. So this can be a failed, a failed contract, a broken contract um, or a failed legal transfer. Um, it's to do with like legal and business matters.
So this can be a broken, ah, okay. So there's a practical level of a contract being broken, but also um, breaking a contract with your higher self. So um, you, someone or you together, this partnership or um, you or them, there is on a practical level, there's been a breaking of a contract that was agreed on, on a higher level. So there could be a, an avoidance of doing, doing the spiritual work that you need to do, and putting and, and not putting aside your spiritual the development that you really need to do. Maybe because it, it feels like too hard or too difficult, or you can't. Um, yeah, you you don't know how to move forward. So it feels like there's an avoidance um, where you're overly affected by fear or um, like kind of or indulgent in yourself rather than actually waking up and, and taking the action you need. So this could be you if you've had this realization that actually you want to be with this person. It's like the practical aspect is that um, that you need to step into a, um, a bigger place, a higher place, in order to make it happen. So this is very much about you needing to put in the work or, or someone needing to put in the work. I mean, that's what we've got here, right? There's no work being put in. It's been, it's been blocked or suppressed or that it's not happening. Um, and... And that's again coming up as the practical aspect of this connection is that the, the work is not going in. Um, and the King of Cups reversed. I mean, this, the King of Cups is all about emotional maturity. So it could be a lack of emotional maturity or a lack of um, doing the emotional work, the emotional spiritual work, like really uh, getting in touch with feeling, expressing feeling, awakening to feeling, um, allowing yeah emotions to be to be experienced to be expressed okay the other person um is coming in as the winged messengers uh so this feels like um this this is about um some difficult communication or broken communication Maybe this person has broken communication or um, uh, they, yeah, it, it's like, you know, there's this table here and the tea is like ready, but it, the chairs are empty and actually one of the cups is smashed and it feels like um, it, maybe this person has kind of left the scene. This person has left the, the stage or left the environment and this could be as a result of a, a message. Um, or an insight, or an understanding, like a inspiration, you know, from from the air, um, or it could be. I mean, it could be them, who, left this message, or they received this message, or some some kind of, understanding that means this, this person has exited the scene. Let me get a clarifier for that. Why is this person not present? So this lightning bolt situation, this for you may have realized that you want them, but it may have like sent this person running, um, or this person has um, felt like things have collapsed, things have fallen apart, things are, are not, um, yeah, it, it's not it's not a safe place to be, you know, if, if this is the, the dynamic that's going on, I feel like they've exited because it doesn't feel um like um uh well it feels like their reality is broken or their um maybe they're they've they've really wanted this connection and um they feel like it's been destroyed or it it's been um it's fallen apart. Mm, that's kind of what I'm feeling. I see this outside influence, the king of forces. So this could be someone, this can be a, a person 
um, who has had an impact on this situation, um, so likely a male. The forces are the, the fire energy. Traditionally, this is the wands, so it would be Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Um, so this can be someone externally who's had an impact on this. Get some clarification. Maybe someone else said something, or someone else did something, or um, strength card again. This fire energy. I'm not sure what this is, but I mean, it will resonate. If you feel like there's a person, um, like a fiery kind of person, likely male or male energy, there's been a, um, this outside influence from that. And um, that person is strong, I would say. That person is very, has got a lot of power. And they somehow influence the situation. How is this person influencing the situation? Temperance. Patience and peace. I feel like this is quite a positive influence, actually. So there could be someone um, who really supports this. Who really supports this connection. Um, and who um, mm, needs just there's like some kind of patience that this ability for endurance and patience and um, and harmony coming into it this balance keeping an eye on the kind of the future and and being able to draw being able to draw on the forces on the elements in order to influence the situation positively. Let's see this situation, how it's most likely to develop. So, um, yeah, this is my card for parallel, parallel play. Um, so to be, it may be that you and this person are kind of doing your own thing for a little bit um, and maybe exploring yourself, your environment um, and reconnecting with your uh, innocence, your purity, your playfulness and um, really kind of healing, healing something. Um, yeah, that can be this um, time, this time for, for safe play, secure play. We have Uriel and the Sphinx in reverse. Um, I feel like this is um, a need to look deeper into the what's going on underneath the situation. The Sphinx is, you know, the, the gateway, the guardian to the whole underground complex beneath the Giza pyramids. And there's a huge expanse of unknown down there. And I feel like in reverse, it's like that expanse under the surface hasn't fully been explored or been made conscious so I feel like um yeah there's um it's like time to like play on your own to really discover the unconscious elements that are going on here under the surface and with the six of roses this is to step away from battle so to leave leave any conflict leave any argument and and remove yourself from that yeah, because your um the action you're guided to take is is the winter, which is um uh, I feel staying in um like kind of allowing things to end or or not even allowing to end, but allowing for the season of winter, allowing for the season of um uh, coolness and quietness, and um, this is like. When everyone, you know, they go in their home and keep warm and cosy. Well, that's what we do in the UK anyway. It's like, you know, go and snuggle by a fire. And um, uh, you you kind of, it is a time for connection, but it's not quite an internal and um, 
like family, uh, intimate connection. It's interesting, that isn't what I thought I was going to say with winter. Intimate connection. Um, let's see the... That's, that's your um, action. The advice of the attitude to adopt is the three of forces in reverse. Bird's Nest is all about, um, this is about collaboration and um, uh, creating a, a family and a, a network um, and building this home. And that's in reverse, so it's like not to, and this is very much like spring energy, right? It's like, not to start building this um, family unit. It might be time to kind of really go inside. So we've got the three of keys as the outcome. Three of keys is, um, this can be, this can signify some kind of um, game, it's game playing. Right? People playing games, manipulation, um, wanting to beat people, knock people over. And we've got the War of the Roses here as well. So there's two cards of this kind of conflict and, and battle and competitiveness. And um, I feel like there is something um, about this connection which could, could potentially incite some kind of conflict and it may be best for you to just remove yourself and maybe just draw your attention to the kind of underground mechanics of what's going on. I want to get some clarifiers for these. Let me get a clarifier for the winter card. swords yeah there needs to be some more healing um, yeah there needs to be time to heal the mind insight into the mind purify thoughts and ideas and to um, yeah take some time to to do that to really gain that insight Um, clarifying the three of forces in reverse, we've got the four of wands, the page of pentacles and the queen of swords in reverse. Yeah, um, there could be the potential for somebody, this is a, uh, um, fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius or Aries, or someone who has a fiery nature, um, creative, fiery, kind of vibrant nature. This could be you, could be the other person, um, could be someone else. But there is, this is someone who is, um, can be quite aggressive when it's in the reverse. They can be quite nasty and quite, um, uh, this is this conflict, okay? So I feel like there is someone you or the other person or someone else there is the person who um can be male or female but who can incite some kind of conflict um who can um be a bit aggressive and it's um about not it's like removing yourself from them the page of pentacles is about um messages um can be about forgiveness actually can be about um, apologies and um, forgiving and um, this kind of gift um, like a you know a, um, a, phys a, a message like a physical message offering a gift four of wands I mean most of you who watch these channels know that this is the the twin flame card um, it's also the 
signifier of celebration, of marriage, of commitment, of um, grounding passion is what I always feel. It's the four, which is about structure and stability and grounding. And it's um, the one is the fire, and it's, which is passion and spirituality. So it's about grounding passion and spirituality into the, into the 3D world. So, um, yeah, I feel your attitude is really, um, to in, in let go, there's a need to let go of some kind of, um, idea, maybe, this can even be an idea of what you expect for your family life, or for your home, or for your, um, like what you want to build, it's like the attitude is kind of releasing these mindsets, maybe this is to do with why you're looking at this new perspective, or new, um, seeing things in a different way, because it's like letting go of, of how you see, maybe how you see traditional family life, or like what your idea of living in family and home is, it's about being able to um, reimagine um, what you what you think and um, maybe rediscovering what your passion is and what you're guided by spirit to understand and to um, gain a new insight. There's, I feel definitely for you it's like taking some time away from this person and to be intimate I feel with yourself maybe with a close family or close friends taking time to heal and really understand um, your mind what you want and and letting go of situations of conflict and things let me see why the chess game has come up as an outcome why is the three of cubes here because uh, there's indecision choice needs to be made someone is blocking their heart someone's blocking their heart and not and not paying attention to um, what's going on inside um, and so there's some someone is um, potentially um, you or the other person or the situation could could end up in a, a kind of this game status or yeah there could be some mm, yeah a need for competition this situation could um, could incite this competitive energy uh, and And I think there's, there's a lack of a lack of knowing, a lack of clear connection to to inner knowing. Um, that can cause some, yeah. Acting out of ego, acting out of a desire to win, a desire to um, be, you know, be successful, to be the the champion, to be the um, the leader and this could result in uh, people getting toppled people getting knocked down people getting um, hurt or inflicted in this situation there's there is you know um, I can feel there's a lot of love and passion here but there's also um, there's just like hints of, of um, things that don't fully feel um, harmonious. I, f I feel like, yeah, with this card, four of, the four of, um, before, and before this birth, it's like there's this need for um, a rebirth, a change, a... Um, a new understanding and um, this person 
you're inquiring about and just if this is them that I'm describing I mean they they could even be someone who brings in this kind of conflict or this uh sense of um they're kind of destroying things this like destruction that like, could even be with these messages sending messages that are destructive um yeah there's, there's something there's something a little bit un, i'm not really comfortable with here i do feel like there is a good influence i feel like you've got someone around you who is a really good influence um who um uh can help you feel you know feel strong and feel peaceful and feel balanced so draw on this person um yeah okay um oh i'm gonna get one of these one more one more advice card for you before we leave this ridiculously long <laughs> reading this is my personal readings guys if you want to book a personal reading like this specific to your situation then do let me know uh, spiral dancer circuitous route and perception this is really interesting perception came up very strongly in group number two as well this need to definitely have a greater insight or understanding into what's going on the spiral dancer is all about paying attention to um, cycles and patterns that repeat themselves and you know in terms of ascension we can feel like we're repeating ourselves and we can feel like we're just going around in circles because we come back to the same experience the same um, situation the same people the same environment whatever it is and it's becoming aware of when actually yes we are coming back to that situation but we have changed and we're different and we're not the same as we used to be and so we have a different understanding and a different insight into what is going on so it could feel like you're circling back round into something, but with a different insight, a different understanding. So pay attention to what is changed, what your new understanding is, and be really aware of that. And I feel like, yeah, it's this, like, I don't feel it's, it's good right now to invest your energy and time into this person. Um, like winter I'm also I'm feeling like you know for winter even um or for like a season like just having this healing season um okay guys I hope that helped uh please let me know below uh subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give me a like comment uh let me know how this applies to your life and I look forward to speaking to you again another time thanks guys bye